Cities nationwide are vying for the next big industry or business to call their community home. So how does Birmingham attract new business? It's one of the things I talked with the mayoral candidates about, and Darrell Williams says that we have to address crime in our city to make it more attractive, and that starts with education. You have to put trade back in high school. See, it's a, it's a, it's a two-thing situation. You got school, you got education, and if you're learning something besides crime, Crime is not hard to learn, because if that's all you hang with, it's easy for you to learn. But if you learn something in school and you mess around and like it. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin says companies need to know the current environment supports growth. And he says when they see that and when they see other companies putting down roots here, more industry will follow. And there are some other areas where he sees potential growth as well. I think there are other scenarios um, in our logistics space, in our um, healthcare space, as well as our financial services space. There's opportunities if those are gonna be a part of our economic identity. What, in, what smart incentives do we offer? We don't wanna give the, um, the kitchen sink away. We don't wanna give all of our tax dollars away. Um, but we do want to say, Birmingham is open for business. You're welcome here. Your company can grow here. Your employees can thrive here. And this is a quality of life, good quality of life place to be for your employers and your company. Chris Wood says education is a key part of making sure that we look attractive when it comes to new companies moving to Birmingham. Safe community education where we have a, a, a good workforce based on that company that's coming. We can incorporate whatever their training requirements into our new career tech program to ensure them that they're going to have the trained, skilled, educated workforce that can make the transformation immediately, you know, in the workplace upon leaving high school. Our next topic, how can the city help the school district better prepare students for life after graduation? I'm Ian Wrights, WVTM 13 News.